I took sniper entry on two trades. This is V75 index that grew from a $133 equity to about $2,600 and V10-1S that will grew from a $122 equity to about $1,269 profit. All the trades at Sniper. How did I do this? Is this even possible? Can someone make money from little accounts from $133, $122? Well, that's what this YouTube video is for. Today's YouTube video, we're going to see how possible this is. If you know me very well, you'd know that this is not the first time I've done this. And most times when I post video like, videos like this, people often complain that I don't post the analysis to how we get this straight. I have heard you, I've seen the comments, and this time around, I'm posting the analysis to it. So this is a trade that I analyzed with my mentorship students. I recorded it via Zoom. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we'll see the entry and I'll post the analysis of the video and then the end result. Do make sure you watch this video to the end. Leave a like, comment, so that this video can reach other people. You should comment right now or even like or at least subscribe anything. <laughs> hey guys. We have a hundred and thirty three dollar deposit here and we just entered a trade and currently making three hundred and something dollar profit. But this is not this, this is not just it. I intend to make a huge money from this. I just finished some Zoom meeting with my mentorship students and we talked about V25 index and V10-1S and the direction the market is going to go. And I already gave the signal and told them they should buy the both trades. And now this YouTube video, I'm going to upload the parts where I did the analysis with my mentorship students so that you can be able to replicate it yourself. And I strongly believe that this market is going to go in huge profit at Sniper. So right now we are 300 and... Uh, Sorry, yeah, right now we are $360 profit and I'm going to make sure, we're going to <laughs> rather take this market all the way to the next level. So for the V25 index, we have a $133 deposit and for the V10-1S, we have a $122 deposit. We're going to see how the market ends, if it's going to go good or bad, I don't know. So yeah, hopefully. Now look at where we are right now. We are currently making 1376 from the v10 oneness the v10 oneness look at where we took that v10 oneness look this was the area we took that v10 oneness remember from the analysis and look at how it has bought all the way and currently making a thousand three hundred and seventy seven dollars from for us and i can also say the same thing for um uh v25 index i can also say the same thing for v25 index you know those two trades are what we analyzed now V25 index, look at the sniper from that of for that of V25 index and look at where how it has gone. The buy all the way up. V25 index we're currently making 2600 and something from a $133 account. Now these two trades, like probably from the video you've seen, were analyzed with the mentorship group sends as a signal. And you can see that we're currently milking it from here all the way to the top. No one milks better, guys, and we'll continue to milk, we'll continue to hold um, them. Normally, we should have something drawn like this, but this market has often omitted this area. That's why buying here again, buying here can be accepted, even though the higher time frame it hasn't really touched this trend line. But that's had a recurrence of when you got here, bought, when you got here, bought, it didn't really touch here. So that's one. Then in the H4, like um, uh, EJ said, if this is what we have, this is what most of us have, which is very correct. But then I asked, I want us to draw it very well, see what I connected to. This. So then I asked, okay, if we go to M30, do we see an invalidation here? Or people said you didn't see an invalidation. Sure. How? There's clearly there's clearly an invalidation here. And what's the writing to the ones there's an invalidation? You take it up here. Now it looks good. And you got here and the market. Mm -hmm. So but but then most of you also did the mistake of drawing this. Which was why I asked, because if you are in the first badge, you know that we use this strategy. That second this thing, yeah, we said you can you can go for under confirmation. So now from the fifteen minutes we drew this, and this obviously this obviously a retest. 
and I'm buying, I already bought. But then for confirmation, well, which was why I asked that question. If you now if you now have a trend line drawn like this, and you want to be very, very sure of it, and then once the market breaks out here, then you can buy. This time around, you don't need a retest for it. But for this one, this one being the first confirmation, you'd need a retest for this one. Why? If it's this one, you wouldn't need a retest for it. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing from V10 one is. And then there's also a key play as well, because now if you draw this, you can see this area of the market. You might, my SL. Good. Good. Let me quickly ask a question. Okay. Okay, so are you saying it's better we always look for our um, retest, breakout and retest on them? Sorry? Breakout and, and retest I mean, on We always look for um, confirmation on lower time frame. So that lower time frame should always be M15, right? M15, M5, M1. Okay. But M1 always, always give a... a uh, information on most of the time yeah but I, I think in 25 we'll see something from m1 in 25 when we talk about m5 because this is what we normally have then we there that was when there were lots of things that was giving us up on the river i wanted to have more confirmation for a trade and this is the richest we are looking for for this this is like a confirmation that okay first there was here a retest of higher time frame and now a, a retest of lower time frame. And if you want to be more sure of the trade you're taking, you can just take it here. And once there's a breakout, probably above that area, you can then buy your market again. You don't need it to retest because the retest, the main retest has already happened here. But the problem with that okay. is that it will now be far and probably your entry point will be, you know, further from the distance. Okay. This V10 one is now. Is a clear this thing now. See where my SL for this, like I told you. See where my SL for this within one is now here. So why won't I use plenty of size on this one? After all, I will show you that of 25 as well. Why won't I use plenty of size on this? The SL yeah, but how do you okay, it's trades like this that you say okay that the risk to reward is good enough? So let's see that of 25 as well. Now look at where we are right now. We are currently making 1376 from the v10 one s the v10 one s look at where we took that v10 one s look this was the area we took that v10 one s remember from the analysis and look at how it has bought all the way and currently making a thousand three hundred and seventy seven dollars from for us so for me i took the market here i took the buy here at this point so um, and that reason why I went for this was, I think it was Selvi who did the, that. Uh, I don't know why I went for the market again. There was a retest here, and then we had the other lower time frame. And oh, yeah, the lower time frame we was too. We had this at first. I was looking for entry. We had this. But then I had this more. I had to draw this one to find an entry. And we got one here and I took the buy. So that's for the V25 index. 25 index. I can also say the same thing for V25 index. You know, those two trades were what we analyzed. Now V25 index, look at the sniper from that of for that of V25 index. And look at where how it has gone. The buy all the way up. V25 index we're currently making 2600 and something from your $133 account. Now, these two trades, like probably from the video you've seen, were analyzed with the mentorship group sent as a signal. And you can see that we're currently milking it from here all the way to the top. No one milks better, guys, and we'll continue to milk.